Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to have some fun with this uh, mixer motor. It's one of these handheld mixers. It's a pretty small motor, not so big. It has one single uh, stator winding. So it's a pretty small motor, it's got a fan. And yes, a selector switch. It's in the middle position. I want to connect it to the variac and crank it up a bit. Let's see it's moving around. Now I wonder what happens if I connect uh, or crank up the variac voltage up to 800 volts. I wonder how fast this will uh, rotate. I think the commutator bars will like uh, fly away. This will be a bit fun. So let's go outside and uh, see what happens. Let's go outside. You can see this cable here. Goes to step up transformer. Connected between two faces. And here we are. So yes, everything is working good. You can see some current there. 0 0.3 amps and we got some voltage I forgot one thing I put the motor like this instead because if the commutator explodes I don't want the metal shutters to destroy my nice windows there we go Let's take it inside and see what happened. Now we are indoors again. You can see the commutator and brushes and everything looks pretty good still. Let's measure the impedance. That looks good. And the field. The field is good as well. What did fail? There are two small inductors on it. If we measure between uh, the phase, uh, the neutral and the phase input here, there's complete open circuit. And the inductors, they are still okay. Let's see if all the field coils are okay. Let's measure between these two points. Yes, the field good. Field winding is good with this one up to here. But there's also another little bit of field winding going to the neutral point here. And this one, you can see that's complete open. So we're going to do a little test now. Connecting the power directly to the motor brushes for tonic induction style. Here we go, second attempt. Directly to the motor brushes. There's a little neodymium magnet there, help things uh, start up. Let's see what's happening. Let it burn up. There we go. That was spectacular. Let's take it, make it, let's uh, wait for it to cool down and we'll take it inside and see what happened. So yeah, that was quite fun, wasn't it? I think I actually used all my brushes because it feels like I have no connection with the brushes anymore. 
it rolls very freely. Now I pulled it apart carefully. You can see in here some of the plastic has melted on the coil. Not so not really so spectacular. And there's a bunch of gears. And here we got this bit. You can almost see the copper wires has melted. It's quite fun to blowing up motors. Let's hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching.